you know, it really hurt after the game, but again, I was thinking it really was just gonna go away after a day or two, and it didn't. And at that point, I knew something was off. My name's Kwame Darko. I'm a recording artist, songwriter. I started playing at a really young age. And, uh, you know, I, I was playing, you know, no one really pushed me, and then you could see that I had some natural talent. Kept building upon it. Um, joined some of the best teams in the state, and then got recruited by the University of Maryland. Um, where I went there, won a couple national championships, um, which was a good time. Um, and got to play alongside of uh, some of our current U.S. national team members. When I graduated, I uh, was deciding between a professional career in soccer versus uh, pursuing my passion for music. After being kind of burnt out with soccer and kind of realizing my true potential in it, I decided to move to New York to, uh, to further work on my music. And now it's you know really just getting the music more and more where I want it to be for you know another campaign. But again, soccer, that's when it really started to pile on where I wasn't doing it as much. But you know, I'd go from you know the studio to a late night pickup session, or I'd go from the weight room in the morning to the studio or go write and do stuff like that. Right now, the status of the music is I stopped doing shows about a year ago just to focus on recording my own material, kind of rebranding and redeveloping my sound. But while doing that, also writing for other artists and working on placements in television and movies and stuff like that. So the downtown soccer scene, it's really cool. It's really a community and more of a lifestyle than just, you know, guys getting out there and playing. Um, whether it's, you know, people who are working in the fashion industry who are helping make uniforms, to guys who own, you know, cafes and art exhibits and, and stuff like that. It's a lot of people from different backgrounds who come together. Uh, so my injury happened last year. I was playing downtown at the, the Chinatown Fields. I took a wrong step. My knee kind of buckled and the pain wasn't anything crazy, so you know I kind of kept playing through it, thinking that it would go away after a little bit. Another friend, you know, gave me a call to to play another game. After that, it's fine. You know, play through pain. I played through worse pain before. You know, it really hurt after the game. At that point, I kind of put off really getting it checked out. Um, tried playing on it again, and then I finally realized something was really wrong. Now, because I mean, I kind of went through the bigger psychological effects when I just decided to stop playing like soccer post-college, like competitively, decided not to play pro. So I think that was a bigger hurdle than like a minor injury that I have now. So it doesn't affect me the same way. It more so just affects me when I see other people playing. It affects me the most. It's like the questioning whether I'll ever be what I was. But injuries suck.